Okay, so this is a Russian um, sp uh, kerosene stove. Um, it actually run on m multiple fuels. Uh, when I got it, the whole thing looked like this. Um, this is actually brass. I didn't polish this because it's just going to tarnish back up. But I polished this up with uh, quadruple steel wool and metal polish. Um, I didn't know what the heck it said. I found a forum spirit burner. And I'll put a link up in the comments. Um, and somebody was able to tell me what it was. And there's some markings on it on the side here. 1982. This is the plant it was manufactured in, and that means it was six rules. I don't know how much that actually is. Um, there's some markings on the top here that mean something. But in order, this is my first firing of it, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so in order to start it up, I open up the air valve. There's kerosene inside the uh, fuel tank. And there's some denatured alcohol. And the only thing I have to pour it in this cup here is uh, another cup. So I'm going to fill this up. Go to there, and uh, we're gonna light it up and see what happens. There it goes. I want to burn everything out of that cup. So it heats the burner up, and then close the air valve, and uh, then pump it. That's how it's supposed to work. We'll find out if it works. Most of you got it because it looked cool. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it probably won't get a heck of a lot of use, but I always like my stuff to work. I'm going to burn this off. I, I, um, I'm going to link to an existing article I put up on my blog last week. Um, and I have a couple of videos of these in use. Uh, one's from a guy in Russia. I don't know what he's saying. Um, but uh, he starts it differently than everyone else I saw. But it was the same stove. So I am going to uh, fire it up the way I saw people do it, which is this way. And then I let the fire go all the way out. And then close the air valve, pump it up, and uh, relight it. It's supposed to be a, um, uh, so. yeah, a surface here that sits on here. Uh, this is a copy of a Swedish design, so I'm hoping the um, a Swedish one will fit, or an Indian or Chinese copy. Almost done burning off the uh, denatured alcohol we started up with. Pump it out. So close it and pump it up. Let's see how this works. I if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out. Yep. And take a look at it and see if we can't figure it out. Okay, round two. We're gonna try to light it up again and uh, put more denatured alcohol in here. I hope it doesn't catch fire in my hand. I, uh, I took the leather out and just made it wider so that it fit better in the uh, in the tube. Okay, it's lit. Let that burn. The valve is open. <coughs> we'll let that burn off. Yeah, I didn't want to try this in the house for obvious reasons. 
little bit of spitter and spatter. Okay. Close the valve. Pump. A lot more pressure now to push on. See if that's enough. I'm not getting anything out of here. I'm gonna try pumping it more. We open up the valve on the side. It might mean I have a clog somewhere in the burner. In which case we'll let it cool down and try to remove the clog. However, we can do that. Okay. Let's try this. Oh nope, wait. Now we got a fire. We have ignition. Try pumping some more. See right there where it's coming out the jet, so it's not clogged. And I'm able to hold pressure. Let's let that go for a minute to see how it does. Now it seems like I took plenty of pressure. I think it needs to heat up from the videos I saw. So these aren't a really high pressure from my understanding. So well, it's kerosene, but I wouldn't think it would be. Yeah, it's not a high pressure like a um, like a Coleman fuel. Propane. So I think it just needs to, to heat up the burner enough to, to get everything to vaporize. I'm trying to remember back for the videos if they lit it at the top, and maybe I shouldn't have lit it at the jet. Pressure. Mm -hmm. Can we be lowering kerosene too? No, we, we put in. Should have been plenty. Let me see if I got a paper clip. No, I'm just curious if we should have lit it at the top so the flame stayed at the top instead of at the jet. I might try that, blow it out, and hold the match up here. Release your pressure? No. Um, let's see what Plenty of pressure. We just need to get really hot so that they can take the liquid kerosene and vaporize it. We're also getting some leak out right here. So a little, a little bit of pressure. A little bit too much pressure, maybe. Not pretty sure. Yeah, that's kerosene. It's not uh, alcohol. These aren't supposed to be nearly as high end as the Swedish ones. You know, the Russians weren't uh, as exact as a copy of a Swedish design. So I'm going to let this go for a minute or two and see if it just gets hot and starts to give me a blue flame, which is what you should get when it's running right. You got too much pressure. I'll well, back off on your little key there. Pressure. Yep. Okay, so this is a failed experiment so far. Well, it's not failed, we're learning. I see if it's still wicking up any fuel.
required quite a bit of pressure to push maybe with my whole fist. Okay, so we tried something different this time. And I didn't videotape it, but uh, I followed the Russian guy's <laughs> video and uh, start, I closed the valve while he still had denatured alcohol burning and started pumping. And now we're getting good pressure. Let's see if we can get it to settle down to a blue flame. And I'm going to use a little stick to uh, knock off that extra soot on the burner that we've managed to build up. Thanks. We got a little bit of soot over here and over here. Should have done that when it was cold, not hot. But that's all from our last test. Let me get the towel here. It's covered in kerosene. I can polish it back up afterwards. So I'm not getting a good blue flame. Let's let it run for a minute and see what happens. It's mostly shooting gas though. It's shooting gas it's shooting gas now, so hopefully it'll heat up and settle down. Question is whether or not the pressure's high enough. We can do a more pumps. Should get a nice blue flame though. Not the yellow flame. Yellow flame is dirty, blue flame is clean. But I'm fairly sure it's at the full operating temperature at this point. I think it's got plenty of pressure. So let it see if it cleans itself out. Yeah, we're gonna let it see if it see if it settles. I'm gonna shut the video off and I'll start it back up in a minute or so. So we cleaned up some of the soot off the bottom of the burner while it was burning and blew it all away. And uh, it seems like it's a bit bluer and a bit cleaner. So uh, I'm calling this a, a success and a win. Yeah, it's not perfect. I wouldn't run it indoors. Probably throws off quite a bit of uh, carbon monoxide, but yeah, it seems to work. Yeah, it seems to work. Please stronger on your side. Than yeah, there's, there's, the flame isn't even. What if it's not level, maybe? Try tilting it and see if it... 
there's more carbon build up in this thing. Yeah, there might be some more carbon underneath the bottom. After we're done with this burn, we'll clean it off, and uh, next time we come out, we'll give it another burn again. See how it works. But, uh, so yeah, this is a Russian, and I'm not even going to guess how to pronounce, because the last letter is an A that's shaped funny. So I don't know how you pronounce that, but it, um, it's P-E-K-O-P -E and a funny A, one. And it's a copy of a Swedish uh, stove. Um, yeah, I think the original design is around 1900. 1910 or something like that um, and I'll post a link to a forum that has a lot more information about these types of stoves than I than I know everyone on there I posted the picture up and within an hour somebody had posted some information on so yeah so you just gotta try to clean some more of the soot off the bottom of the burner we're gonna let it burn for a little while and see how it goes I'm not sure if that's yeah you know, this is normal this is how they, they if they just get dirty when you run them I, said, I don't know anything about these types of stoves yet. This is our first one. Um, but they are pretty cool and they're they're cool looking and it seems like it works and it's functional. And throws off a fair amount of heat. Um, I'm gonna try to find the, the heat shield um, for putting the pan on top of uh, and give it a whirl. But uh, yeah. Uh, you can pick up brand new ones out of for these out of uh, maybe they're in India now. Maybe they're like forty bucks or something like that. Um, same place I bought my other kerosene stove sells them. That um, St. Paul's Mercantile sells a version of this stove. Um, so you can buy brand new versions of them, and the antique ones are on eBay. And we found this at an antique store um, on the floor in the corner for uh, twenty bucks. So. I'm, I'm happy it works. Now if we can get it to burn blue, I'd be even happier. But I said for outdoors, this would work. I think the uh, the blue would be less soot. But uh, yeah, very cool. So anyone who has any information, comments, you know, recommendations on how to get the cleaner burn, yeah, I'm all ears. Till next time. Thanks for watching.